Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. In the previous video, we called the GUI upload function module through pattern button. Now we will pass the path of the file. We will pass the file name. And what is our file name? In which particular parameter we have the file name? P underscore file. So we are passing it to file name. Now, when we prepared a file, I told you what is the separator in our file? It is tab tab. Now we have a parameter here has field separator. Now it is the part of exporting here. If I will double click on the function module, I can check in the importing has field separator. And it is saying column separated by tab. By default, the value of this parameter is space. If we want this to be activated, if we want this to be act if we want the tabulator if we want the tabs it means we have to set it to true and we all know if we want to set it to true the value will be capital x currently the value is space it means has field separator is false as of now it will not take tabs but once we will pass this parameter to capital x Capital X means true. So it will take the tabs. And what is our separator between each and every column? Between the columns, what is the separator tab? So what we will do, we'll simply pass this parameter to capital X so that SAP can understand that in our data, the separator between the columns is so you pass the path of the file. You pass the separator as tab. You activate or you set it to true. Has field separator, you set it to true. Now you passed the path of the file. You pass the file name. It will return the data available at that particular path. You passed the name of the file, but now what it has to return, it has to return the data available at that particular path. And now where it will return the data, it will return the data in the form of a internal table. Suppose I gave the name of the internal table as LT data. Best practices always, always uncomment the exception so that if some exception triggered, you can understand at least. Now, it this internal table, we will get the legacy data. Now we need to declare this internal table. If we see on in our legacy file, how many columns are there? Five columns are there. It means our internal table will also consist of five columns, material number, industry sector, material type, description, and unit of measurement. I will create a internal table of five columns. How to create a internal table? We know if I want to create a internal table, firstly, I will create a structure. Every structure with the help of coding start with types, begin of. Suppose my name of the structure is LTY underscore data. Simple. I will open that table and we will copy paste from there one by one. What is our first column? Material number. 
इट मीन्स मैटेनार मैटेनार टाइप मैटेनार नाउ वट इज अवर नेक्स्ट कॉलम अवर नेक्स्ट कॉलम इन द एक्सेल इज इंडस्ट्री सेक्टर दिस इज अवर इंडस्ट्री सेक्टर एम बी आर एस एच टाइप एम बी आर एस एच सॉरी एम बी आर एस एच वट इज अवर थर्ड कॉलम मेटीरियल टाइप मेटीरियल टाइप एम टी ए आर टी टाइप एम टी ए आर टी वट इज अवर फोर्थ कॉलम मेटीरियल डिस्क्रिप्शन मेटीरियल डिस्क्रिप्शन इज फ्रॉम एम ए के टी टेबल सो आई विल कॉपी फ्रॉम देयर एम ए के टी मेटीरियल डिस्क्रिप्शन इज एम ए के टी एक्स द नेम ऑफ द कॉलम टाइप एम ए के टी एक्स नाउ वट इज अवर लास्ट कॉलम यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट वट इज यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट एम ई आई एन एस एम ई आई एन एस टाइप एम ई आई एन एस so we declared a structure of five columns now i will declare the internal table and work area lt underscore data type table of lt by underscore data ls underscore data I my internal table and now I will declare the work area. So, GUI upload what it will do? It will take the file and it will return the data of the file into this internal table lt underscore data. I will check the syntax and I will activate. now for the best understanding i will put a break point and we have the important understanding after that i am putting a break point in start of selection i am running this program whenever i will click on to this button add selection screen on value request event will call it will show our desktop i will choose the file so i have the path of the file whenever i will click on to this execute button you can see start of selection event called now you are passing the path of the file or file path or file name it will return you the data available at that path into this internal table now if i am executing this i will receive a run time error and this is the most important part here you can see we are getting a error type conflict error and it is clearly saying there is a type conflict in gui upload file name and p underscore file are mismatching it is clearly saying you this i can directly give the solution also but in that case understanding will be less so we receive the run time error now we will see how to correct this run time error if i want to correct this run time error i have to go for or i have to resolve this type conflict and we know what is the solution for type conflict is type casting type casting firstly we will understand why this run time error came if i will go to the program it is saying file name is not compatible with p underscore file in gui upload what is the type of p underscore file p underscore file is character 128 this character 128 we are passing to file name if we will check file name file name is of string 
you can see you are passing a character 128 to a string type. That's why we are getting a type mismatch error. So how we will resolve this error? We will simply go for type casting. How we will go for type casting? I will declare a variable, suppose LV underscore file, which is of type string. Now I will simply, simply pass this character type variable to string type variable. Character type variable value, where character type you are passing it to string type and this string we will use here. String you are passing to string now there will not be any mismatch. So I will simply put the comment also for better understanding. This is type casting. Or the best word, if we can say this is explicit type casting because you declared a variable explicitly to do the type casting. So how we did the type casting? We declared a variable of string type and we pass our character to the string and this string we are using after that. I will check the syntax and activate. Now we will see in debugging how our data is returning into the internal table. I'll put a breakpoint so that you can understand fully. I will upload the file. Now, whenever I will click on to execute button, start of selection event triggered. This is our character. Character, we will pass it to string. Now, if I will execute, you can see LV underscore file has the file path now. String, we are passing it to string. And what is the separator? What is the separator between each and every column? Tab. We activated the tab also. Now this is our internal table in which data will return. This internal table has five columns as of now. Whenever I will execute this function module, data will come into the internal table. I will execute. Yes, I want to access and you can see five records came into the internal table and this is our legacy data. Our legacy file has this data. If I will show you, this is our legacy data, legacy data. and our legacy data is now into this particular internal table. So we read the legacy data. Best part will continue in the next video. Thank you.